hello hope you're doing okay today the cards are flying everywhere um, they're obviously very excited um, this is a reading for Sagittarius um, ladies and gentlemen and um, this is for week um, Monday the 27th of April 2022 um, Sunday the 3rd of May 2020 okay I'm Ali uh, my website is psychically.net um, so I'm going to do um, a beginning middle and end of this week reading covering finances love um, work all, all of that okay so let's have a little look and see what's going on with you Sagittarius Sagittarius people are um, very focused so if you think back to the um, the archer so an archer fires his arrow at a target and he's very focused okay he then aims his energy at that target so if you um, if you think to yourself they are very uh, focused they're very um, they like to be in control of what they're doing they like to plan ahead think ahead okay but in an ambitious way in um they're fired up they're fired up and excitable um, when they have got a project um, they can be very very one-minded um, and I feel that sometimes they um, can come across as being a bit too controlling because sometimes they'll see a better way of doing things um, and maybe you're trying to do things your, in your own time um, at your own pace um, and they try and kind of get in there and, and sort it out for you okay without being asked so that's kind of the Sagittarian but on the whole they try very hard to please they, they want to help okay so that is the um, a typical Sag. So let's have a look and see what's going on with you this week. Right. <clears throat> okay, so. Oh, palm. That's giving, isn't it? Is that giving? Is that for me or for you though? <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> um, so, okay, I'm, I'm seeing application forms around you. Something to do with applying for something that you want. Um, I feel that there's um, a couple of things that you're having to do. One is a, I've got to do it, I've got no choice. And the other one is um, something that is pleasurable and you want to do, okay? So it's like, um, yeah, two two kind of two kind of paperwork dealing with paperwork and applications i can see that you've been walking on eggshells around a certain person or a certain situation now this hasn't helped okay with a person who is being a little bit too um you know thinking about their own agenda thinking about what they want thinking about they're not really thinking about other people and i feel that sometimes you know when you just don't know quite how to handle them anymore okay you've been tippy toeing around you've been trying not to upset them they're trying to do it their way you're trying to help um i also feel that um it's something to do with rerouting or moving so either either you or this person that i'm talking about is wanting to move okay or um you know, i'm just getting that they feel um as if they don't feel grounded does that make sense they they want to um they want to feel grounded they want to feel needed and they're feeling a little bit kind of um out of sorts okay not not secure uh, actually in their in their energy now with all my readings i'm given a scenario okay and this scenario unfolds in front of me um for you know the Sagittarius character I don't know which role you play okay in this so you could be playing the lead role you could be playing a side role and witnessing this experiencing this so say if I was picking up on I don't know a drama happening okay now this drama doesn't then need to be if you've learned the lesson from someone else you don't have to go through the drama does that make sense so this is why I'm saying to you sometimes you're the lead person sometimes you're the side person depending on what you have to learn but this walking on eggshells around this situation linked to thinking ahead planning ahead um, I don't know if there's something to do with a property that needs to be redeveloped or all that I just feel I'm seeing some renovations around 
um, and needing to get organized with it okay like I said it's a big plan okay now link into your finances Sagittarius this is all the beginning of this week Okay, so oh lovely you've got the Empress okay and you've got the tower so the Empress the Empress is um, because these are linked with my finances only okay that's what I'm focusing these on so to do with your finances there is um, a tree it's like um you've built a good um, firm foundation okay with the tree and the growth but there is a project that is going to come down so because one is shining brightly and one project work situation financial um, you know financial strategy something like is working really really well but the other one isn't so that is why there's got to be a clean sweep okay um, now it might be that you are shocked by that not working does that make sense that that thing that's going to stop okay you um, and I will say that you know you will get over this this will be okay but and sometimes this is what the this is what the universe does because maybe you decided that you wanted change maybe you put that signal out to the universe and you said I don't know what I'm doing I'm not getting enough from this um, I need to have um, you know more with my life and that because you've sent that out the universe is just obeying you and bringing you your wishes but initially you might think what the bloody hell's going on okay so let's have a look at the um, emotions regarding the beginning of the week so this is yourself okay so you need to have inspiration you need to have inspiration about what it is that you're gonna do what that you're focused on regarding emotions who do you want to have around you who are who is in your um in on your um how can i put it you know when you've got a character who um one minute they're okay next minute they're not does that make sense so i feel that this changes so i want to say who's on the on the uh, naughty step this week okay <laughs> because i do feel as if your emotions have been up and down like that and this is why I'm saying to you that it does change okay so this is a kind of change so I feel that there might be something that's changing um, around you at this time and I think that, that everybody seems to be playing nicely in your world at the moment um, because we've got this this card saying you know I'm feeling inspired by people I'm feeling inspired by situations now if they were still got on your nerves then they wouldn't would they that wouldn't be like that okay so um, the significant other person could be your friend family member or partner okay it has to be around you um, now this person is trying to lure you out of your cage they are trying to get you um, to loosen up to be different to kind of um, be less controlled and and go with the flow and you know it's like a romantic gesture or something fun is being asked um, of you and they want to do that they want to make sure that you um, you know you're not too closed in now I know that sounds silly because we're in lockdown okay so this would have to be um, a virtual feeling does that make sense linked with this okay so that's what I'm seeing the beginning of this week for Sagittarius by the middle of the week okay the middle of the week I'm seeing you having to look after somebody I'm seeing the safety blanket card um, taking care of somebody looking after them making sure they're okay or making sure that you're okay putting the safety blanket around yourself sometimes we just have to do this because we've been either overdoing it or because um, emotionally things are getting to us and um, we just need to kind of um, either mentally or physically rest okay still your mind um, don't think about other people maybe turn the news off does that make sense sometimes it's um it's the, the energy that comes from that um maybe turn the news off start watching a really good film like a slushy one or something you know i don't particularly like slushy ones but um you know you might like um something that kind of gets your head um working you know trying to find like a thriller or something it just feels as if you've just got to 
um, stop looking to and analysing too much. Stop focusing on, on what you want. Because I feel that there's something that you want that you just can't do at the moment. So you've got to find another way. Find another thing to do. Find another, um, you know, it's like a, um, an action plan. Does that make sense for something? Um, so look into that. I can see that you're at a crossroads to do with your finances um, or job. Okay, it's like which direction... Um, so a lot of this is to do with directions. It's to do with like looking at your pathway opening up. Um, okay, there's something to do with a job or financial matter that you're having to keep to yourself because I feel as if it's like um, secrecy or you know not revealing too much um, regarding this weighing up of two two jobs two positions. Um, yeah, I don't know what this caring thing is unless there is links around you being a carer. Um, or you having to care for yourself. Okay, so looking at your finances. Mm -hmm. Sunshine, happiness, brightness. Everything's looking good. Moving on. Okay, so this is all about moving on, going forward. So with these two cards in your financial sector, um, the chariot indicates that you must look at it's like you need to you need to be in control of the reins of your vehicle of life okay your vehicle needs to go in the direction that it needs to go okay so you might have chosen finally you might have chosen this pathway and you've got to really steer the horses um, you know your uh, your yin and yang if you like you've got to steer your horses into this direction and try and ignore the shiny things over there that might be distracting you a little bit um, because if you want to achieve this then you're going to need to stay a bit more focused okay and I feel this is all around finances what the first bit of the reading was is about finances as well this is emotions though so emotionally make sure that you don't blow something out of proportion because I do feel as if there's something being said and you're like what do you mean by that okay or someone's saying that um, because it's like quick to judge or quick to um, respond to a situation that was actually quite innocent. Okay, so try not to overreact. Um, again, could be somebody else overreacting with you. Okay, so like I said before, um, this there's a person close to you. This is what we call the significant other is becoming a lot more spiritual. They're listening to their higher self. They are going into... Um, their deep thoughts going into their um, kind of like their life purpose in fact understanding their life purpose for um, you know where it hasn't been like that um, so I feel that they've gone from being kind of stuck in a in a treadmill just going forward in life does that make sense not not really um, enjoying life but kind of just trying to keep working towards when you can enjoy it uh, this person has kind of come off that like a lot of us have okay and the realization now is actually I don't have to do that anymore I can do something that I want to do so don't be surprised if that person isn't starting to open up around you or could that be you the end of this week end of this week emotionally you're having to walk sideways around a situation at home um, I feel as if there's a, a lot of juggling of money and I know everybody juggles money this would have to be something significant or different to the norm okay now that is my is my um, DIY moving boxes or changes because if you have a look there's a box there that's half finished that could be DIY and the ladder could mean DIY does that make sense so it's all to do with building maybe building of a business you know doing something towards that and the juggling money could be that you're having to kind of find some money elsewhere in order to put some money into that okay that project um, and the, the walking sideways means that sometimes we've got a project that is sitting in front of us and we can't do anything about it yet or we've got to wait and be patient that's what I mean by the walking sideways now financially lovely card you've got the world which indicates that things are turning out better than you thought followed by the star and the star was all about hopes dreams and wishes it's about getting what you want that along with the world card you can understand what I'm going to say um, that is that everything is brilliant everything is working out you know couldn't be any better okay so um, a big thumbs up does that make sense to do with changes linked with finances to do with emotions so it couldn't get any better look 
even emotionally we've got the success card yes I've done it this is brilliant okay now your significant other might be feeling a little bit lost it's like well, what about me then where am I going what do you want from me do you need me at all you know maybe they're feeling a little bit kind of put out so I think you need to kind of maybe the communication lines the, the change of communication that we had in the middle of um, your week is now still affecting does that make sense um this part okay the end unless it's a different character of course because we know that this the significant other can change each week um so this to me feels as if let's let's see how that goes but look out for people's um you know you might be on cloud on cloud nine you might be feeling so happy and so um you know it's ecstatic but look out for somebody else does that make sense who's around you who may not be so um happy you know you know if they're jealous of your success then that's the time to ignore does that make sense it's like well you know you come around later um but um if this um if this is a genuine feeling of that they're feeling down that maybe things aren't working out in their life and they're kind of you know feeling a bit um as if they need a hug or something it's very difficult not to hug people isn't it um but um yeah so they there's a little bit of kind of look out for them look out for those sorts of people okay so there you go that's your reading Sagittarius okay take care oh you can go and have a reading if you want to I keep forget that bit um I'm not a salesperson am I um so if you did want a reading with myself um you can go to psychicalley.net um and book a reading there okay thanks bye